Tonight, Lyle Vandergroot lost no time in making arrangements to whisk his wayward fiance oh, back I'll home. Take it, I'll take it. Nairobi Hilton. They can airlift us there in two hours. Pillows. Okay. Wait a second. I'm losing you. Bad reception here. Okay. I've got you back. No, wait. I'm losing you. My batteries are dead. No. Duty. I don't want to go anyway, Lyle. Tomorrow we're going to climb the mountain where the big apes are. Don't you want to see them? Only if they can shake a good gin martini without bruising it. <laughs> How? <laughs> Me and Thoria would be happy to help you and the lady up the mountain, Mr. Van der Groot. Yeah. With Mr. Kwame leading the way, of course. And if you don't mind me saying so, the apes are supposed to be a fascinating sight. Especially that white ape. White ape? What's that? Ask Mr. Kwame. I'll bet he can tell you. It is only a native legend. Could you please tell us? The people say he is over seven feet tall with the strength of a lion. When the moon is full and the air is sweet, he wanders alone through the jungle, piercing the silence of the valley with his mournful call. Now, some say he is thirsty for blood. Others say he is calling for the mate that he longs for, but will never find. By day, he rules the entire Bakubo from the top of the mountain, but by night, he and Bigfoot run the candy counter at the Bakuvu Cineplex, now playing on all 14 screens, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bigfoot? Max, that'd be worth a lot more than any white. <laughs> Ursula, what are we doing here? Lyle, I came all this way. Okay, okay. Things I do for you. Looks like we're on, fellows. Hmm.